Come check me out, Wayne Barry. Representing the United States and fighting out of New York City, here is Wayne Barrett. I'm fast, I'm strong. I'm a thinker. You know, I see things, I move. What a combination from Wayne Barrett. I've never been knocked out. And I have real power. You know, I have real knockout power. This is unbelievable. You know, I can hit. And when I hit, I hit hard. I'm a bad boy, man. Ever since I, I stepped into a martial arts school, it just changed my life. You know, it fascinated me to say, like, wow, you know, these guys can do amazing things. I was always someone that was into traditional karate and martial arts. Uh, I found boxing, unfortunately, when my uh, first karate teacher passed away. You know, I just couldn't train with anyone else. I didn't, uh, I didn't want to train with anyone else. You know, I just found myself in a boxing gym, just hitting the bag, and, you know, guys were like, hey, man, you're kind of good. He is a former Golden Gloves boxer. I won the Golden Gloves in Georgia, and then I transitioned back into kickboxing. This young middleweight has now set his sights on international kickboxing. You know, I love the challenge. Here comes. Kickboxers are a lot faster. It was a transition that required me to actually dedicate myself or rededicate myself to being a combat athlete. This fight with Jacoby is an important one. You know, Dustin really did a really great job his last time out. And I want to show people that, you know, I'm the number one American here. He's been at a high weight class. He's come down. He's fought some big name guys. He's fought in MMA. At six feet, three inches tall, he weighed in at an even 205 pounds. A lot of guys he's fought, you know, they come straight at him and they stand straight up. Everyone knows that's not my game. Dustin! You know, I make you miss and I move. He won't be able to bully me. I'm not afraid to go into his hometown. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's high altitude, Denver, Colorado. Jacoby! You know, he won't be able to back me up in the corner. And he's going to soon see that he's not going to be able to fire off those punches in that wild fashion that he does against me. Oh, man, that glory belt. When you get in this business and you're on fire like I was, you know, 5-0. and oh. Four of those five wins coming by way of knockout. You know, four knockouts just running through guys. You know, you think, oh man, everything is gonna be mine. The world is yours, you know? Al Pacino style. You know, you never really have a chance to think about the what if or the derailment. I felt like my first loss against uh, Joe Schillen. Barrett, meanwhile, one and one against his fellow American. I mean, his hometown was a straight robbery. But even Schilling at the end of the fight thought that Barrett maybe should be two and oh. Since my fight in Dubai with Simon Marcus, I will say I, I've mentally grown. Before I would overthink it, before, you know, when my first loss with Joe, it was like, oh man, you know, I was robbed and, you know, this boo-hoo-hoo story, you know, this blame everyone else but myself. Oh, I'm shocked. I probably would have given it to Barrett. But, you know, the one thing that I love about this sport and the reason why I love fighting is you can't blame anyone. You know, you need more. You, know, you need to be a better person inside the ring and, and outside the ring. You know, a real champion is a champion everywhere. You know, I gotta be a champion when the cameras are off. I'm mentally stronger. I'm physically always ready. The mental aspect that I bring to this fight is greatly different than anything I've ever brought to a fight before. You know, I'm just gonna bring my A game. You know, myself, my team, we're coming up with a great plan. I believe in the plan, and we're just gonna stick to the plan. You know, once the plan comes together, I don't think anyone can handle me. I want to genuinely show people in a dominating fashion this fight that Wayne Barrett is still the most dangerous guy in the middleweight division. We'll see October 9th. Be there.